Hi guys, this is Sushant Kuchit. Uh, today we are going to talk about if there is anything else in the food that has weight except protein, carbohydrates, and fats. So um, you might have come across this thing that uh, let's say there are 100 grams elements. They have 18 grams protein, 15, uh, 59 grams fat, and 3 grams carbohydrate. This sums up to 80 grams. So where has the rest 20 grams gone? So where is the rest of 20 uh, grams? So I used to get a, uh, I used to get really confused about uh, when I would look at nutrition information of anything, and I would see okay, this is 100 grams of food, and it has 5 grams protein, 12 grams carbohydrate, and 3 grams fat. Where is the rest of the food? Uh, food's weight. So the the answer is that the food does not have weight only from protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Okay, food does not have weight only from protein, carbohydrates, and fats. Then where does the rest of the weight come from? So we will take an example to understand this. So we'll take example of 100 grams spinach. Mm. 100 grams spinach has protein, 2.14 grams carbohydrate, 2.05 grams fat, 0.64 grams fiber, 2.38 grams. Now you might have heard about fiber uh, uh, before this, uh, but water content, the moisture content. In spinach uh, weighs 90.31 grams, and then comes the ash content, which is 2.47 grams. Okay, what is ash content? See, if you uh, do complete combustion of spinach, residue uh, after complete combustion of spinach uh, has some weight, and that residue is called ash. So basically, complete complete combustion is a combustion of uh, water and organic materials. So you are left with inorganic materials. But a layman does not need to go into that uh, much detailed version of it. After complete combustion, what is left is known as ash. And after complete combustion of 100 grams spinach, you would be left with 2.47 grams of ash. If you sum these numbers up, you should get 100. But here you are getting 99.99. Because the methods used to calculate these values have some really small errors. So, for example, the value of uh, ash can be 2.46 or 2.48, something like that. So, uh, it should ideally be 100. Um, and uh, now you uh, you would ask me from where I got these values. So, I have uh, taken a reference from IFCT Indian Food Composition Tables. I have made a video on this uh, previously. You can search. Uh, on my channel Indian food composition tables so I will take a reference from there so now you don't need to be confused about uh, where the rest of the weight uh, went away uh, except protein carbohydrates and fat so uh, it comes from fiber water and ash if you like this video please uh, like comment and share and see you in the next video bye bye